really balancing their feet to whatever they need. Or most horses don't maintain as well as they could, you know, not being done right, injuries, some kind of body issue that will wear their feet uh, to accommodate what's going on in the body. Um, so, I mean, uniformity, if anything, I mean, I'm looking for the front feet to be uniform to each other, the hind feet to be uniform to each other, a little bit different shape. Each, each end is a little different shape. But, you know, height of foot, hairline angle, should be pretty much the same on all four feet. Yeah. Now, see, he's got a little, he's got some rocks and things in here, and his toes a little bit long. And, uh, he's kind of wearing off over here more than there, so he's starting to kind of wear off the outside of his toe, so right in this area. So he gets a little high right here, which is di directly opposite that. <coughs> anyway, in a nice even um, surface for them to stand on. So when they when their foot hits the ground, it lines up with their leg. And doesn't twist their leg off into some other place that it doesn't shouldn't be. Yeah. So I'm doing a little bit of trim on the bar, a little trim on the wall. This right here, see, is standing up. Like I said before, his heels are a little bit high. So, put those down. <coughs> there, Jordy. Trying to get a nice even width of wall all the way around so it's not thicker or wider here than it is here. But if you look at his feet, you know, I mean, they're not misshapen in any way. They're not bulgy. You know, there's nothing flared. No long toe or area that's way out of shape from the rest. Yeah. So, like I said, he's kind of the ideal client. <laughs> Doesn't pay well, but, you know. <laughs> less work. Yep. A lot less work. A lot easier on the horse. Don't have to be constantly fixing on it. So the bar right here or here is a little bit long and part of it's you know starting to lay over the sole and the frog's a little bit long right here. Um, so just trimming that up, you know, fix this other side up. Get Georgie to hold still. See his heels are real nice and even, there's nothing really out of shape anywhere. There'll be less to do on his other feet than there was on that 
right front there. Like I said, his right front's a little bit. He doesn't wear it quite as evenly as the rest of the feet, but still pretty good. So I guess, you know, this should be uh, more or less what you do on a maintenance trim on whatever horse, you know, it might not be, might be a little bit quicker cycle or a shorter cycle, but more or less that's really all you should have to be doing. You know, once everything gets to a place where they have good concavity underneath their foot. <clears throat> so, the, the, hey, come on. This one. See, so he's got a lot of space, like between my rasp there and the inside of his foot, like where his frog is, at the apex of the frog right here. If if his foot were a lot shorter, this would be really flat, and then they have a harder time uh, not being sore because their sole's really thin; it's too close to the ground. I mean, it's the same thing as bars are a little long in this area here, but you know, his feet's, foot's a little bit, little high to the inside compared to the outside, but that's about it. So, same thing, I just trim that back, shape up the heel there a little bit. So this area right here that's a little long, I'll do a little bit more on it. high on the inside. That would be that. Okay. Go down. See, this foot's a little bit different. The toes are quite a bit longer than the other. So his right side, his front gets a little bit off. His right hind gets a little bit off more than the left, but still really not all that much for the period of time that's since he was trimmed last. So do, do uh, hooves wear in pairs? Uh, usually in diagonals, you know, if they have something really off, uh, if they're moving really irregular on one side of their body compared to the other, usually the diagonals will be the more similar feet. Some horses like him, it's just the right side. 
that's a little bit different. Generally the diagonals, like if his right front had a big flare on it and it wore crooked, usually the left hind is the compensating foot. Or the right front is compensating for the left hind. It could be either one. But one, one corner is compensating for the out of balance situation on the other. something that you know, an owner does regularly or is this more than a normal what am I trying to say? Normal amount of trimming or well no in terms of you know I've seen some of the young kids just take a rasp yep. and, and just touch up feet. Right. Is that this is sort of a slightly more involved process. Yeah, yeah it's a more um, you know, all in the whole foot mm. um, balancing. I mean, if his foot, if the bottom of his foot looked more or less like it does right now, I might just grasp around the wall and even up the wall and call it good. Where it's been four months, I mean, his bars are a little overgrown, so it's a little bit more involved than just grasping around. but. Just maintenance, mm, you know, the kids, if they just go around anything, you know, if they get a little chip or it starts looking a little long, if they wrap that around, it keeps it from getting worse. So that's one way to maintain, like him right now. I mean, if you just rasp, rasp around the outside of his walls, you know, once every other week, that might be all you need to do for. You know, horses are individual, so it's there isn't one you know set um, pattern you know for every horse. There's a general got to balance the feet and whatever that kind of takes. It might be more on one side, more on one foot, more on one hind, more somewhere than everywhere else. Or they have four feet; they can be completely different all the way around. But for him, for I mean, this is kind of how it should go, right? The horse is maintaining, everything's working right. That's what you should be able to do. 